Hello, I'm David Neese, Vice President of Engineering at Grady White Boats, and today I'm aboard our Canyon 336. I'm going to cover some of the features and details on this very large family fishing boat. Very large, it's 33 feet long, has a beam of 11 foot 7 inches, so it's very wide, gives you a large fishing cockpit. It's built on one of our CV2 hulls, the best riding hull of its size in the industry. Paired with Yamaha Power, it is an awesome, powerful fishing machine. Loaded with safety features. You'll notice tow rails under the gunnels. You'll notice handrails throughout. It is unsinkable, basic flotation throughout the boat. It has a self-bailing cockpit. All the boxes in the boat are self-bailing, so there's no need for a macerator pump to pump things out. Any water that gets in the boat in the cockpit or, or in, the, in your fish boxes or live wells or coolers drains overboard passively. Just a lot, there's a lot of features to talk through on this boat and we'll go through them one section at a time. As a start, I'm going to talk about a feature on this boat that's optional that can affect everything that's on the boat or many other features on the boat. And that is below decks here where there's a 4KW Fisher Panda diesel generator. Once you get that generator on board, you have the opportunity to have things like hot water and a microwave oven. And back here in the cockpit where you're catching those fish, a, a huge freezer box. This freezer box is wrapped in coils on the outside, not plates on the inside, so it's easy to clean. The cool air is distributed throughout the box. You can put a little ice in there if you choose to. And what I like to tell people, and I've experienced myself leaving ice out of the box and relying on the freezer coils, makes the box even larger. Being above decks, as I said before, it drains overboard. I've seen days where you're, where you're offshore, you're loading, the fi you're loading fish up or unloading fish, open the box and the cool steam just rises right out. It sure makes for an impressive show at the dock and sure makes your fishing life easier. Turning forward to the lean bar, there's a live well here on the starboard side, a sink over here on the port side, and then that sink can be plumbed as an optional second live well if you so desire. Rod holders in the lean bar at the top between the handrails, so you have rod holders here. You'll see additional rod holders in the hard top. Knife and plier holders in the back of the lean bar as well. So you have a full service cockpit back here loaded with safety features, rod storage, rod holders, hot and cold water, transom door for getting in and out of the water or bringing fish aboard, and a four step ladder off the back. Can't leave the cockpit without continuing our discussion on safety and comfort. You know, as I come to the side of the boat, tow rail just works with my foot easily to gaff a fish or to help a swimmer or a diver. As I go to the back of the boat where the, I mentioned the transom door earlier, you'll notice how substantial the transom door latch is to hold that shut. As I come over here to the, to the port side of the boat, behind this hatch is your battery select switch. You'll see fresh and raw water receptacles there, storage in the lean bar, bulk storage, and then tackle storage below that. Everything we've talked about back here in the cockpit relates to your safety and your comfort. And if you really want to talk about comfort, you really have to recognize the ease and the comfort of our transom stern seat. It's folded out of the way. You have the use of your entire cockpit. When it's out, it's a very comfortable seat. Much more comfortable for that ride home, that long ride home, than sitting on a cooler all the way back. The 11 foot 7 inch beam on, on the Canyon 336 gave us the opportunity to do a lot of wonderful things with the boat. One of which is putting the driving helm right on center line. Certainly that's fantastic for sight lines on both sides of the boat and looking directly ahead. The other wonderful part of that is I can put my passengers and people that help me watch where I'm going on either side of me. I can stand, they can sit, we can all sit or stand. But the nicest thing is nobody is in anyone's way when it's, as you come and go from the helm. The captain's going to be on center line driving the boat. The passengers can come and go to work baits, to watch the lines, and adjust things as they see fit. Now as I look forward from the helm, I see that everything's at my fingertips and in my line of sight. Notice the compass is right in the direction I'm looking, right on center line. The Yamaha multifunction gauge is the same way. Cup holders at our fingertips. Handrails everywhere for safety. There's even air conditioning here at the helm. And I have to tell you, you know, you're not going to cool the world down. I'm outside here. But I've been right here in this position on very hot days and having that cool air blow across you with or without the curtains makes a very, very big difference on those days when you're trolling slow and nothing's moving but your boat at a few knots. Also, there's a bow thruster control here. Trim tab controls are easy to get to. 
Notice that the horn is red and the wiper switch on all Grady Whites right beside the horn. So you reach down, you find the horn at the end of the panel, you know where the wiper is and it makes that part easy. And then one of the fun things to show on this Canyon series of boats, the bigger ones that have this, is our raisable electronics box. Very pricey, very sophisticated equipment here. Very much right in your line of sight. Again, very little effort to see it. At the end of the day, when it's time to put things away, you get everything clean, close that back down. It's out of harm's way and out of the weather and your very expensive equipment is put away. Overhead, there's storage in the T-top, lots of shade from the T-top, additional electronic storage in the T-top if you like. If all your electronics are down below, that's a nice cubby hole to store plenty of things in. There's more storage down below in the step. Storage nets in the console here. Storage pockets with DC outlets on both sides of the console forward. As I move forward, we have to stop by and go down below and talk about some of the features inside, I'll call it the cabin, not the head, that make this boat truly unique in the industry. When you go down below, two steps down to the sole, I'm 6'1", I can stand up very comfortably down there. There's a berth I can sleep in down there with storage below it. There's a stainless steel sink, drawer storage below that sink, a vacuum flush head with a cherry seat over the top for taking showers if you want to sit while you shower. Certainly there's a full size shower in there. Storage under the helm where you're standing and quite a bit of storage, a lot of cubic feet of storage there. Storage to store six rods vertically out of your way and leave your cockpit space uh, open and uncluttered. So when you go down below in the helm and look at the Canyon 336 down below, you know you're in a truly unique fishing machine. In any fishing center console, one of the things that's so important is having room in the bow to do the things you need to do. And on the Canyon 336, you certainly have that. Plenty of room to get to both sides of the bow for fishing, for moving all the way forward to get to your anchor locker. Open your anchor locker, your windlass is right there, your windlass controls are right below. You even have a raw water wash down here for cleaning up if you're, once you're catching fish or bringing them forward or washing out the anchor locker. Handrails throughout cup holders throughout. It can be a great family or social boat too for seating around this whole area. And below the seats there are overboard draining insulated fish boxes so that whatever your catch of the day is, if it's too much for the box in the back, you can bring it forward and load these boxes up or you can put drinks and lunch meats or whatever you want to separate out from whatever you're doing in the back of the boat can go in these boxes too. And I should point out that all the boxes I've mentioned overboard draining and insulation, but they're also dry, so they're dry storage as well. Don't forget that feature that makes the boat very, very versatile for a lot of situations. If you want more information about the Canyon 336, visit our website at gradywhite.com or walk into your dealership. Visit your dealer. There you can walk through the boat in person, get a test drive, or see any of the other various models that we have in our line that can really enhance your life and give you plenty to do on the water no matter how you use your boat.